Hey guys, so this video is going to just be a short video on foam rollers you may or may not have heard of them. If you go to the gym and everything, you probably have heard of them and some gyms do have them, like my gym has one. I thought I'd do this video because recently I brought myself a foam roller and so you know what, let's just do a short video about foam rollers in case you didn't know what they are. So. Um, basically a, a foam roller helps relieve any muscle soreness or any tension in your muscles that happen over time. Um, obviously they can happen, obviously you get muscle soreness after a workout because you've worked out your muscles. But um, over time it kind of, sometimes it can build up and you just need that massage. Obviously you've got the normal like sports massages that she, that you can get which i want to point out that a foam roller will never replace a real person's hands <laughs> just <laughs> i've just thought and um, i'd say this but they're great for like in between sports massages um to use one of these so you can get different types of foam rollers obviously you can get different sizes you can also get textured and non-textured you might have not seen the non-textured ones so they're just literally just foam just a smooth foam roll they don't have any um any ridges in them or anything like that um those offer not much pressure and they're just great if you've not got if your muscle soreness or you've not got any knots that are too kind of deep you just want to give you just want to give the muscles you know a massage but you don't necessarily need a really deep one um, so then you've got the textured rollers and um, so these ones offer more of a deep massage and they also, and they target, target the muscles a lot better because they have those dints in them you will find the textured ones are a lot more popular um, you know because you know they do a lot more but don't completely kind of miss the whole kind of smooth foam rollers they're more perfect if you want to use one of them you know every day after your workout as a kind of as like a cool down or you could even use them once as a warm-up just to get the blood flowing to the muscles now how to use a foam roller so initially when you use a foam roller say for example we'll say um, hamstrings um you want to go over the muscle like a normal speed if you hit kind of where your muscles kind of where you start to kind of feel that intense pain you want to kind of hold it in that area and slowly go over that area um a couple of times obviously um depending on what your pain threshold is on how deep to actually go um <laughs> well not deep but how much pressure to put on and eventually it'll loosen up a little bit as I said they're kind of it might not happen because you might need a human touch but it will kind of get rid of that kind of initial kind of pain that you do have in that area if that, if that makes any sense it's basically a temporary temporary kind of thing um, and it depends on how um how severe that knot is sometimes a roller might not kind of get rid of that um and you will probably may need to see somebody to kind of probably do it for <laughs> do it for you with their hands but yeah that is basically it for the video so bye guys